Hello, it's Melissa from melissaesplin.com and calligraphy.org and I'm here to share with you a little tutorial on how to make floral poppies. They're super easy. Um, they take just a little bit of time, but um, you'll be whipping up great compositions in no time. This is the 48 pan set from Sakura. Um, you can get any different watercolor set you want. Um, I have here a red sable brush but you know, a bigger round brush, like a size five to size eight brush will do. And then here's a round size zero. And this is a synthetic one. So um, either brush, um, you'll need a, basically just a bigger one and a smaller one if you wanna get less technical. Uh, first, we wanna mix up our colors. So I'm getting two different oranges. I'm doing a yellowish orange and I'm making it all soupy. I have just a giant thing of clean water and I'm using that to get my pigment ready. So I'm doing some like a reddish orange, the little bit of yellow in there just to make it bright. And then I'm going to do a darker reddish orange um, and I make it quite soupy. So I'm adding a lot and that's where this bigger brush comes in handy and the natural fiber brush too because it it doesn't have as much spring as a synthetic brush so you get this nice sort of uh, moppiness with your brush. I'm using Canson um, art, watercolor art board. It's really thick. It's hot press watercolor paper that's been mounted on museum board. It's really great. If you want more of an organic look with your watercolors, I would recommend getting a rough watercolor or a, a cold press. Get that nice and soupy. Um, and the more pigment you put in that soup, the more vibrant your flowers are gonna be. I like them kind of light. Um, so the first strokes you're gonna make, you, you wanna tilt your brush to the side and lay the brush flat and then pick up. You create sort of this V shape and it can be quite messy. If you wanna picture it overhead, like bird's eye view, you can do that, the V shape, and then kind of go around a little bit like that. And you wanna finish with your brush in the middle. That way it's going to leave the most amount of water in the middle. So it goes from dark to light on the outside. And now that we've got our form sort of roughly put on there, we're gonna wait for it to dry. Now that the flowers are dry, let's go with the darker red, or the darker reddish orange, sorry. I like to load up the brush with the pigment and then I twist it around so I get a nice sharp edge. And then for this, you wanna do another set of Vs. You make it a little shallower and you offset it a little bit. Um, so poppies have four leaves. You just got a little bit of this too. So they have four leaves, so you can just offset those little petals like that. Now, you don't have to necessarily wait for anything to dry at this point. We're gonna do our stems, and stems for poppies, they're kind of wiggly, and um, I, some of them wilt a little bit, but all of these poppies we've already created more upright. This one's pointing this way a little bit more, and everything else is pointing this way pretty much. So grab your green and I like to mix up sort of a muddy bright green. Load it up with your brush and you're going to use the same brush here. Um, so I'm going to add a little bit of a pod and pull it down and I'm barely, barely touching my page with my brush. Pull it down. And you can add a little bit of darkness in little spots. Just drop that in. Then I'm going to do some pods. So the pods, they're the blooms, right? It's kind of like a little oval. And pull it down. Okay, now we're ready for the leaves. The leaves are just scribbles. I like to do a little, little bits 
here and there just to fill in the negative space. You can be cleaner or messier about this approach, but I really like the messier approach because poppies are so iconic with their shapes that the messiness is um, it's quite forgiving. All right, now we're gonna go through and add details with this finer brush. First, we're gonna add the fuzz to our pods. So I just have a, the pods on poppies, poppy blossoms have little bits of fuzz. So I like to add that. And you can add a little, little bits here and there. I feel like changing up the line quality really makes your piece have a little bit more contrast and pop. And then I get my darker orange and mix it with my lighter orange. So just get like a middle one and I want to create lines. So these are just kind of squiggly lines coming out of the center of my poppy. Now as the darker piece dries, then I'll add some more line, line um, details on the darker pieces. But for now, I'm going to go for the center piece. This is already dried. I'm going to add the middle and for the middle, I like to keep things contrasting a little bit more. So I'll make a bluish black so that it feels that you get, you get more depth than just like a black black. And I don't make it quite as soupy because I'm doing small detail work. Create these little lines that come out. These are the stamens. And then I'll get a really vibrant yellow, almost an opaque yellow. This is great if you have gouache, you can use the gouache, but this, this particular set, the yellows are quite opaque. So I just use them as is and just make them really thick. I just pull the pigment straight over from the pan. Then I'll just add that on top. So there you go. All right, now that, so the darker red on this guy is a little bit drier. So I'm gonna add my stamens to this guy. See how I'm kind of fanning out those stamens so they're going in different directions. But they're just basically barely peeking out through those darker petals that are in the front. Add some pollen. Now I'm going to get my lighter yellow, or my lighter orange, sorry, I don't know my colors. I'm going to add some of the details now to my darker leaves. So that lighter color is gonna, on a really nice watercolor paper, it's gonna pull up some of that pigment just a little bit. So that's gonna add some variation. There we go. We've got our poppies, we're all done. Share, share your project, your final projects in the comments and uh, I hope you enjoy. Um, if you'd like to see a review of this watercolor set, uh, feel free to check the videos after this guy's done and stay tuned for more. Take care.